Hello everybody and welcome to the Business Growth Club. This is your monthly DVD from the Business Growth Club and in this month's recording we're going to be looking at how anybody can create an expert blog in under 60 minutes. Now this follows the video we produced on blogging where we showed you the advantages of blogging for any business irrespective of whether it's a service, trade, retail or product based business. Today I'm actually going to show you the mechanics of creating a blog in literally under an hour. I'll show you how, for absolutely no money at all, you can create your own expert blog. You will join me as I create a website, create the blog, create pages, add video, and make the blog work in less than 60 minutes. I'm doing this for a Business Growth Club member so you can see exactly how it would work for your business. I'll also be talking to you about why you and your business should have an expert blog and why it's not just as simple as being a blog, it's so much more than that. And I'll also mention how blogging can be used as part of your marketing. Now, in the future Business Growth Club recordings, we will have even more issues on using your expert blog and how to really get the maximum benefit from it. But today we'll look at the mechanics. And if you follow with me on your computer as we go along, you too can create your blog in under an hour. Now, the reason we're not just talking about a blog, or even an expert blog, we're actually talking about an expert's website, is because that's what everybody needs. Let me explain. If I asked you the question, would being perceived as a leading expert in your industry help to increase your sales? Would it help you to grow your business? Now, nearly all of you would say, yes, of course it would. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a tradesperson, if you're a product business, if you're a service sector business, or any other type of business, if you are perceived as the industry expert, you are perceived as a leading authority in your industry, will more people trust you and will more people engage your services? Well, if I asked you you're going to appoint a plumber and they were an expert plumber, you'd be more likely to appoint them and pay more for them. The same as any other profession. So if the answer to the question is would being perceived um, as a leading expert in the industry help increase sales and you say yes then you need an expert blog it's actually an expert website and I'll show you as we create this blog exactly what I mean by that phrase it fits into the expert marketing model that I've mentioned before in the business growth club and we'll cover again in the future and that is like all good marketing at the top you have your target market the people to whom you want to sell your products and services and on the right hand side you have your marketing strategy that's all of the stuff we talked about everything from having a website to sending out flyers doing newspaper advertising and putting something on the left hand side is something I've not talked about so much which is what I call your guru brand becoming the guru the go-to person in your industry now I'll cover this in more detail in future videos but if you position yourself as being a leading authority as we explored on the previous slide, then more people will want to do business with you. That means that you put as the centre point of all of your marketing your expertise. You say the reason to use me is because I'm a known leading expert and I'll show you exactly how you become that. As I say, it doesn't matter whether you're a tradesperson, product, retail, service, it all works for you. And this is how it works. You have your target market, the guru brand that I've talked about being appreciated as an expert. You have your niche marketing and you have expert positioning. One other comment about this being applicable to all businesses. Typically people would say branding, expert marketing and blogging was only really for service sector businesses, people selling professional services such as solicitors, architects or business coaches. However, what happens in marketing, and I've mentioned this before, is you can move into the unoccupied space by doing something that other people in your industry aren't doing. So if you are a business coach, lots of other people would be blogging and have an expert website. However, if you're that plumber I've mentioned, then nobody else in your industry is doing it, so you move into the unoccupied space and you make yourself the go-to person. It's very powerful. So just because everyone else in your industry isn't doing it, doesn't mean you shouldn't. So long as you can answer the question, would being perceived as an industry expert help sales, as long as you responded so why don't we have a look at how you do that, how you become positioned as a number one leading expert in your industry. As I said, 
you're going to actually join me as on the screen I create a blog in real time so you can see how quick it is and you can see exactly how you can do it. I also said we're going to create it for a Business Growth Club member. That member is Ralph Moody from Target Training Associates in Newcastle. They provide a range of training services to, um, to businesses and today we're going to look at how they could use an expert website, an expert blog to promote their business. So now we're going to jump over to Internet Explorer and I'll show you how. Here we are now on the internet and I'm going to show you how to create your expert website and expert blog. You go to wordpress.com. That's word, W-O-R-D, press, P-R-E-S-S.com. Wordpress.com. Don't go to wordpress.org, it's in page. Now I should say at this point there's lots of different software out there you can use, lots of different websites to create a blog. I prefer WordPress, it's the one I use, and I use it because I personally find it's better than the other softwares out there. But if you want to look at the other software out there and see if that works for you, of course you can. But I prefer WordPress, so I'm going to show you how to do a WordPress blog. Now, so it's WordPress.com, and there's an orange button here which says Get Started Here. You click Get Started Here, it'll take a few moments to load, and then you've got a screen to fill in the details. The first one is your blog address. Now we're doing this for Ralph Moody, so we're going to type in Ralph Moody, and then the computer will tell us if that's available. Fortunately, Ralph Moody is available. Now the reason it's Ralph Moody and not Target Training is because whilst you can have a blog for your business, what I'm talking about the business owner, the director of the business, as the number one expert. So this is why I said you have your own blog and your own expert website. Of course, this software is for free and it doesn't cost you any money. Now as your business grows and if you become really established as an expert, you may pay somebody um, to design your website like your normal company website. But for now I'm showing you how you can start the journey to becoming an expert without spending any money. So I'm not saying don't go and see a web designer. Of course, if you want to design your own expert um, website with a blog and you want it to do lots of fancy graphical, um, graphical features or different functionality, then you can do that. But I'll show you what a website you can produce for free, and I think you'll find that for now, before you build up the, the reserves in your marketing budget, it will suffice per perfectly well. So that's why it's Ralph Moody and not Target Training Associates. So Ralph Moody, so the website will be ralphmoody.wordpress.com. Now you can actually choose just to have ralphmoody.com for $18 a year, which is what, about £10 at the current exchange rate. So then, people would go to ralphmoody.com, not ralphmoody.wordpress.com. Now, I do advise you buy the domain name ralphmoody.com if you're Ralph Moody for this uh, particular purpose, but I wouldn't advise you buy it from WordPress. The reason I say that is because if at any point in the future you want to use a professional designer or you want to move away your domain, it can be difficult. It's not impossible, but it's just easier if you register it by a third-party agent. Now you can do that by using lots of different people, type into Google, buy domain name, uh, you'll find lots of different websites. The one I use is 123reg.com, uh, which is very good, and you can reg register a domain and forward it to, um, to this particular website. If you're not sure how to do that, I don't want to take up time in this video showing you. I've got another video that will show you how to do that. It's very easy. Or you can ask your current web designers to do it for you. They won't charge you very much. It's only a, a 15 minute job. So whilst we do want ralphmoody.com, we're not going to buy it from WordPress, even though it's just $18. We'll find it about that cheap from somebody else. Um, but it, what happens is when you buy a domain and you forward it, when you type in ralphmoody.com, it takes you to this ralphmoody.wordpress.com because you forwarded it. So your web designer will know what that means, or if they don't, then, uh, then we'll show you how to do that. So that's, um, that's how to do that. Now it's created as a username, which is Ralph Moody. It wants a password to confirm a password and an email address. So I'm just going to fill in most details. Obviously I'm not going to tell you what the password is. So I'll... Okay, so I've entered my password and I've entered uh, the email address. So I scroll down to the page uh, at the bottom here and it actually says I can have a free blog or if I want some extra features it will be $99 a year which is about what £65 a year. Now once you get good at blogging you will probably buy this. The, the main feature um, other than getting a bit more um, space and that domain name, is you get no adverts on the blog. But there's very few adverts and they're not really a problem. And just to get you started, I would create. 
And that's it, our blog has been created, so we're, we're now registered with WordPress, we just need to populate the blog. Now they'll send you an email, um, which will come into your inbox, it'll come within a few minutes, it says 30 minutes, but it comes pretty much straight away, saying please activate your blog. You click on the link to activate your blog, and it takes you to a page like this. And it says please choose a theme to start with. Now this is where the fun starts, because whilst it doesn't cost you any money to set up a WordPress blog, it's a lot more than a blog. Now what I mean by a theme is how your website looks. As you can see from these six here, the website can look very different. So you can have a very professional looking website, as I say, for no extra charge. Now we're not going to select the theme just now, because I want to show you what it will look like first, and then I'll show you what it will look like with a nice theme. So we'll say no thanks, I'll just proceed for now. And this will take you to the main dashboard as it's called this is the hub of your WordPress blog and to prove to you this is a brand new website as you can see the site stats there's nothing going on there's been no posts it's just um, it's just a totally standard uh, website at the minute and I'm going to show you as I say very quickly how you can create a blog now, the first something you need to do is on the left hand side is become familiar with this particular board here because this is what you use to create your blog and it says lots of different stuff here and once you set up your own blog you can play around with these I'm going to show you the most important ones which is clearly posts a post is a blog, a blog post so to write a blog we click post um, WordPress has already given us one which says hello world but we'll trash that because we don't want one saying hello world that's not very good and here we can add So what we do here is we create our blog post. Now I've already got one of uh, Ralph's blogs here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it um, from Word. So the first one we're going to post is Engaging Training Groups in Training. So we copy the title there, and that's the body of the blog. So you write your blog in Word, you copy and paste it, you know how to do that. And in the top there, that's the title, that's where you put the title, Engaging Groups in Training. Into here, you paste the text. Now if you want to, you can actually do lots of clever stuff like you can make it bold, you can make it italic, all of that sort of stuff. I'm just going to make the first paragraph bold um, and I'm going to make um, the, uh, the third paragraph um, in speech marks just so you can see the different stuff we can do. But basically that's it, we've created a blog and it to the world. Now it will tell you here um, some more information uh, about what your blog look like, looks like and that sort of stuff. We're not going to worry about that for now because we're going to click new post and I'm actually going to post um, a couple of different blogs um, on there so you can actually see a couple of different blogs. So the next one is called Practice Makes Perfect. So we'll copy this one from Word. We'll go over here and we'll click paste. This is spelt with a C because it's um, it's a noun whereas Practice with an S should be Practice Makes Perfect. If there's any um, you know, journalists or anything watching, feel free to correct me. Uh, but I, I believe that's spelled with a C. Um, so we copy. So this is just another blog post. Of course, you know what I'm doing here. We've already written a blog post in Word. Um, that's where you'd write it. That's the, the computer software you use. And you've pasted it into here. And this is a bit like Word itself. As I said, you can make it bold and you can do speech marks. Again, I'm going to make the second one here in speech marks. You can do bullet points if I wanted to make this a bullet point. I can do that. And then I so we've clicked publish and again it comes onto this screen saying you've published two posts and again it gives you the information saying what it will look like but again I'm not interested so I'm going to post a third blog so let's have a look at the third blog dealing with the whisperers now these are just articles which I know Ralph has written obviously you'd have to write your blogs in reality what you would be doing or whatever you'd be blogging on a regular basis. Um, here I'm just posting three blogs, which really would be three, day, uh, three weeks worth of blogs or three days worth of blogs, just so you can see what they've got. Like. So publish. So as I say, you, these would normally be the blogs that we do over a period of time. But what we've got now is we've actually got the foundations of the very first blog. So this is your third post. And now I'm just going to show you what this looks like for starters. So ralphmoody.wordpress.com 
Okay, and we click return. So we're just on the Internet Explorer here, how you go onto Google and all those websites. And this is what it looks like. We actually have, now this is quite, but as you can see, this is a blog. And we can see on the 17th of April, we had dealing with whisperers. And this is the blog. Again, on the 17th of April, we had practice makes perfect because uh, we posted it. And again, the 17th, we have engaging groups and training. Normally, as I say, those dates would be the 17th of April, the 20th of April, the 26th of April, or whatever. But you can see we're actually now got our blogs in the world. And like I say, this website looks relatively ugly, but I'm going to show you how you can make it look a lot more attractive. One other something I'm going to show you is we've got uncategorized in there. What we actually want to do is give all of our blogs a category. Now that's very easy to do. We're just going to this screen here. Um, so you click on posts again. Again, the left hand side you'll get used to this. But we can edit all of these by just scrolling over them and clicking edit. I don't want you to show you, you know, exactly how you press edit or whatever because you're all intelligent people and you can figure out how to use these, um, these bits of software. I just want you to know roughly what you do. What you can do here is you can give it a category. I'll explain later why that's important, but I'm just going to say um, some um, self-development. That's what I'm going to call it. So add the category of self-development, and then on the left-hand side, uh, right-hand side, sorry, you just say everything is now self-development. You click update, and then we'll go back over to the internet to ralphmoody.wordpress.com. And you can see self-development is now one of the one of the lines there. Now, what we would want to do is we'd want to do that edit process for the next one. And we'll just untick, uncategorized, and update edit the individual post. So even when it's gone to the internet, you can edit it. And then you just click on all posts again, and this one's now uncategorized. You click edit and you change it to self-development. Now the theory would be that in time you would have a couple of different categories. So you might have self-development, train the trainer, and time management, and they become links across the top here. And I'm going to show you how you can make this more like a website than, um, than it is at the minute. So we've done that. So that's blogging, how we actually create a blog. So as you've seen, in actually just a couple of minutes, we've put some nice blogs on the internet so we can tell people uh, this is our blog, they can come and read about us, and as you saw in the blogging video, there are many advantages to doing this. When I told you that you could make it look different, as you can see here, that's bold, the top bit there. On this one we decided to keep that bold. This was um, this was a jump out and that was a, a, a nice uh, bullet point. Again, this one we've done a jump out there, a quote mark, and we've done some uh, some editing there. So when you're putting together your post, you can make stuff bold and make it pretty. Um, obviously, once people start visiting your website, they can leave comments and do all of the good stuff you want people to be doing on your blog. So for Ralph Moody now, we've created a blog in, what, 10 minutes or so, and we've put some blog posts on the internet. But now I'm going to show you some more advanced features so we can actually turn this into a proper website for the expert. So that's the basics, and that's the posts one here, so we can keep adding new posts and more blogs. But there's some other stuff we can do as well, and that's in Pages. If we click on Pages, this works in exactly the same way as the other pages, but what they do is they appear on this bar here, the top bar here, the navigation bar. So do you see how we're making more than a blog? We're making a website. So what we're going to look at here is about, I'm actually going to call that about Ralph, because again it's all about him. And in true Blue Peter fashion, I have already got this page prepared. So I'm going to copy this page from Ralph copy, paste again, this is just the editor. The about page is just the one page that um, WordPress gives you to start with. Again, I'm going to make the first page bold. Um, when you were doing your blog, obviously you would be um, writing information about who you are and what you do. Um, here I've put information about Ralph, um, so we've prepared this. You'd obviously have to write this into here. Um, but what we do is we just click update, and we'll go back and refresh the page. And brilliantly, we've now got about Ralph and self-development. So when we click about Ralph, we've now got some information. Now we could insert a picture into here if we wanted to. So you click this add media. You can add videos as well. 
but what we're going to do is we're going to add a picture so I'm just going to click pictures on my computer and again in blue Peter fashion I've already got this one here called Ralph Moody I don't keep a picture of my Ralph on my computer this was created for this purpose uh, but this is just a normal picture, that's a picture of Ralph looking um, professional. We're going to align it to the right, because I prefer pictures on the right. And we're going to make it, um, we'll make it full size, that will do. We'll insert into the post and there we are. We'll click update, just to give you the information. On the right hand side on the page here, update means send to the internet. Then you go back to your website. So there we are, we've got a picture of Ralph there and about Ralph and obviously you, you might not have a picture, you might need to get one done, that might be a picture of you doing something but as you can see now we've got about Ralph and I've not really tried to make this look pretty obviously I might use different colours or I might break up the paragraphing or I might use bold or speech marks you know you can edit in the same way you can edit something on Word but even here so you just see how if we visit Ralph's blog not only is Ralph sharing his expertise about training so he here he's talking about how you deal with whisperers in training courses, people who don't say very much. So Ralph, who's an expert trainer, explains to other trainers whom he trains, so he literally trains the trainer, making him the authority. He's just sharing his... I mean, this could be anything. If you're a plumber, you could say how to deal with a burst pipe. So you can have this information on your blog, and you can do lots of blogs about burst pipes, and you can optimize the website for um, burst pipes, and I'll show you how to do that later. So when somebody's got a burst pipe and they need a plumber pretty quickly and they type it into Google, they read about you, or they very quickly read about you, and of course, they're then interested. But it might be something more intelligent than that. It might be what boiler's the right boiler for your house. So there's more likely that people will read it and spend some real time over it. So it could be a crisis search, so you optimise for that, or it could just be you know, what type of boiler do I need, and what does a, what is a corgi boiler, and all of that sort of stuff. So do you see how whatever business you're in, you can share your expertise. So I'm reading his expertise, but I also click about him. I see a nice picture, and I've got... So it's so much more than just a, just a blog. So let's have a look at some more pages we might add to make this more of a website. So we've had this uh, page. Let's add another page. And the next page I'm going to add is courses. Because obviously Ralph delivers lots of different training courses. So I'm just going to have some details about a couple of his courses here. Again, I've written it in Word. I copy it into um, into this new. So I've, I've gone onto pages here. I've clicked new. I'm just going to put courses. That's the te page title. Remember that one's for the title. In here, and we've got professional trainer trainer. We've got um, foundation management development program, and we've got doing business in China. So just some of the courses Ralph does cool. to get you kind of straight away with it and get you fired away. So I'm just going to um, make the first couple of lines bold so it looks a little bit better. Like I say, you'd include all your information here. I'm just showing you how to do it quickly. Then we click publish. Then we go back over to Ralph's website. There we are. We've got home about Ralph and now we've got courses. And we've got some information about the training courses Ralph delivers. And of course, if I want to, I can share this with um, Twitter or Facebook. So I've got the social media. I can like this as well. So it goes um, to Facebook. So if I do um, do my blogging properly and people find me and they start dealing about the whispers and they say, oh, who is this guy? Oh, about Ralph. Oh, and I read that he's an expert and he's, you know, he's an industry established expert in um, in training. I then click on courses and I say, oh, he does a professional train, a professional trainer technique. So it's training the trainer. That's definitely what I need because in time, information about the area that Ralph is an expert, the area that you're an expert in. So do you see how it's taking shape? But we're not done now. We'll again click add new, and we'll add another page. This page is going to be videos. So we'll have a couple of videos. You all know the power of using videos uh, on a web. So we've copy and pasted it into here. I've given every video a title. So we've got um, why target training. We've got why we need management development. And we've got professional trainer trainer. These are just for links because Ralph's chosen to host his in YouTube. Like I say, most people can to start with. 
Um, so this is just the length of the video. So when the video is playing in YouTube, you copy that and you paste it into here. So all we've done is recorded a video on why target training. We've already got it, so we're going to use it uh, on this blog. So we've got why target training is the title, and then this is the, the link to it. Now we copy this again, and what we actually do is we add media like we did for a picture. So you probably can't see it on the screen here, but there's a little button there that says add media. From here, we don't do it from our computer, we do it from a URL. We click audio, or video, because it's a video, and we paste in the link there, and the title was Why Target Training. And we click insert into post, and there it is. And then we do it for uh, why do we need management development, so again, the same process. Copy. So we're copying the link, the web address for it. Click this button here, which is on the editor. Like I've said, this editor where you create your pages is just like Microsoft Word. You can bold everything, you can make bullet points, you can add images. This works in exactly the same fashion. So we're just repeating the process here. And this was why we need management development. So we type that in, insert into post. Once we've inserted it, we delete the original. And then the next one is professional train the trainer. And as you can see from this, Ralph is such an expert in training, he literally trains the trainers. Um, so this is a very powerful video where he advertises that. So again, it's an audio, it's called Professional Train, sorry, Train the Trainer, insert. Now I know as I'm doing this, I'm literally showing you and I'm typing away. Um, this is a very practical video. Of course, we could have made this very... Um, snazzy and we could have had boxes flying around and it all looked brilliant but I want to show you how you can physically do this yourself and how easy it is um, so that's the reason why it's not as um, you know I'm not trying to do a slick presentation I'm no computer expert and I can use this so easily obviously I've got experience using this but once you set up your blog and you play around and I suggest you watch this video and then you start playing around with the WordPress blog and see how I did it you'll see how easy it is to use so we're just going to click update which is going to publish this so we refresh the page we click videos and there we are we've actually take a few seconds to load but we've actually got some of Ralph's videos so we click play here and this will play with one of his videos I'm obviously going to pause that because I don't want it to play over my voice but this is some of um, Ralph's brilliant videos He's already produced them. I told you there's millions of ways you can use um, you can use video on a website. So I click on resources and see all your great stuff. Of course, the whole purpose of this is for you to share expertise with your customers, with your potential clients. Um, so that's why you'd be sharing your expertise because you're trying to be positioned as a number one expert. Like I said, if you were reading reviews from a plumber on how um, how to install boiler systems or what was the best one depending on the number of rooms in your house and how this boiler is good for this but not good for that how likely would you be to use that person do you see how reliable they are imagine when you go and see a plumber and he says well on my website uh, on my blog I've got some information about different boilers and how they work so you can have some honest opinion so I'm not doing the salesmanship and then one or two of his customers have left a comment and they comment there saying yes I used this boiler and it worked your advice was brilliant it takes time to build up that sort of following but it's not difficult on my own blog I will regularly post information about how we help people and routinely people will post comments sometimes saying I, I enjoyed this blog but other times saying yes you did this for me and it really worked and that's very powerful so people who found me on the internet and you know that there are thousands and thousands of internet searches for your business every day people are finding you this makes it easier to find you WordPress is brilliant with Google I'll show you how to optimize it later but once people have found you there we are with people are recommending you you can use your testimonials on here which is what we're going to do now now Ralph's already got some testimonials so we're just again gonna copy these you'd have to obviously get them off your customer but um, you know I've obviously pre-prepared this but the next page we're gonna create our new page is testimonials so you can see how we're actually creating so much more than a blog we're creating your own website on the internet all about you and it's cost you you know zero pounds so again the page is called testimonials and 
what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this one and we're going to put it in the strange um, little speech marks. I'll show you how that looks on the website in a second. I'm just editing this screen. Like I said, I could have done this very slickly, but I, I actually want you to see how we do it in, in real life, how people sit there and create these, and how you don't need to be a web designer to produce it. As I said before, once you get really big, you might want a, a really fancy website for you as the expert, and you'd find your web designer. But to start you off on this journey, which I promise you, if you do it right, can be very powerful for you. Um, this is how to do it. So we've pressed publish, and this is for testimonials. And we're going to click on testimonials here. Do you see how it appears? So you've got the quote there. I'm actually going to go back in here and make these bold. Because I believe if these were bold, they would look better. Obviously, you're going to spend all day making this look a lot more attractive. I'm just giving you a, a very basic outline um, of how this works. But um, let's make these bold. And... Oh, I actually missed one off down at the bottom here. So. Okay, so we'll publish that and we'll go back over to the internet. Now, you can choose to put these um, bars here in any order that you want them to be in. So um, here we've got home about Ralph courses, testimonials, videos, and self-development. Um, you could choose to put them in any order. So you would go onto the page. So this is the testimonials page, and we've put a number in here. So we'd we'd write down from number one to number five. Obviously, number one is the first. Number five is the last. So we're just going to put this as number four, and click update. So you've put them all in a certain order. So then once you go on to here, you can see testimonials has now become um, further down the line. So you might prefer that order. Now I'm not going to show you how to do everything. That's just one of the features. I don't intend to show you absolutely every feature in the world on this website right now. Um, because we, yeah, I just want to get you up and running. But it's um, you can see how this is starting to form. And there's always testimonials. So, so far I've come onto this website. I've actually read some of his expertise. So I'm very impressed with what Ralph's got to say. I've read about him, seen a picture. On here you could have a video. Actually, on this page I put videos, but maybe we should have a video here, a welcome video from Ralph. Courses. So I've read about Ralph's courses. So I'm interested in this professional trainer trainer because he, you know, he looks at an expert. I've watched some videos about him. I've clicked on testimonials so I can prove that he's an expert. I've clicked on self development maps here, so do you see how it's got all the articles? And over time this will this will grow massively. Um so I can click on here self development or what whatever you wanted to call it and I could find the article I was looking for. One page we're missing is contact us. Because obviously, once I've done all of that, I want to get into touch with Ralph. So I'm just going to copy. Again, I've prepared this. So we'll just go on to New Page. So Add New Page. Paste. Call it Contact Us. And then we'll make the top bar bold. We're just given a phone number here. Obviously, you might have different information. But we're actually going to add this, add a custom form. So this is a data capture form. I'm going to talk in a future video how you can use a blog um, and you can actually use it very powerfully for data capture. For now, I'm just going to stick to the basics, but I will show you that. So um, what we're doing here is we just want uh, a particular form. So we've got name, so that's uh, email, website, and comment. So if people want to get in touch with you, now I don't think we want to know there. Um, I don't think we want to know their website. So we'll change that to phone number. Because that's a lot more useful, isn't it? And that is a text uh, text box, save this field. So uh, then you click on email. So I'm going to put in, I'm just putting my email address in here. But obviously, um, Ralph would put his own email address. He's, obviously, I'm going to change this to him once he takes it. Subject line is going to be contact from the blog. So what we're doing here is we're actually building a form which we add to the post. Um, it's actually posted it at the top here, which is something WordPress does to catch you out. That's all the code. Just cut that, paste it below, and click publish. And it's probably e easier for me to show you how this works than trying to explain. So, 
and my contact us page loads. So we've got here, we'd love to um, hear from you. Here's our phone number or fill in a form. Now, because we're logged into the website as Ralph Moody and it knows our email address, it's populated these fields for us. But um, I'll show you later how that will disappear once you log out. So the person will put in their name, their email So hopefully what's happened is people have come onto Ralph's website, they've read his expertise, they've read about him, they've looked about his courses, they've watched his videos, they've read his testimonials to see he really is an expert, they've read some of his self-development articles, and then they click on the contact us because... One something I'm going to do is just change the order. I actually want contact just to appear at the end of the navigation. So if you have a look here, I'll just refresh. So there we are. You can see that a contact us has become. It's not the absolutely final one because this self development is what the blog is. Um, you can remove that from the feature, but I just prefer contact us around the end of this navigation than at the beginning. But as you can see, already in not very long at all, we've actually created not just a blog, but we've created some pages. I'm now going to show you how you can make this look a professional website because at the minute it looks too amateur. I'm going to show you how you create sidebars, which is what goes down here. And I'm actually going to show you how you create um, a better theme for the website, what it looks like. So the next bit we do is we go on to appearance. So down the side here, like I say, when you log in, you get used to it. But there's different ones we can change. What we want to change is widgets. Now, don't ask me why it's called widgets, but that's the stuff that goes in the sidebar. And there's an awful lot here. You can add your blog stats, so if you get a lot of visitors, you can add them. A drop down of your categories. Um, you can add, I'm going to add this, which is follow blog, so people can follow your blog. Um, so we've just, and you've seen how easy this is. I've literally just said I'll, I want that and I've added it to follow blog. I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. Um, pages. So I'm going to have a second navigation bar, so I'm going to add pages into here. Um, I also want Twitter, so I want to display the Twitter feed. Now this won't work um, right now for... Um, but you can see that if you wanted to, you could share your Twitter uh, on there. So I'll just add that, but I can't do it. RSS links, so that's just so people can link to your blog. Now when you log in, you'll see lots of these, um, which, uh, which you can use, like this Facebook. Now when you log in, you'll have a big read of this and you'll actually find there's all sorts of um, activities that you can you can add onto your blog. Um, it might not be making too much sense to you now, but once you log in and you start looking at these and you say, oh right, um, okay, so this is a calendar that I can put on, so it says a calendar of all our posts. So we'll add that one and we'll see what that looks like. You'll see there's all sorts that you can, um, that you can add. So what we're going to do is we've done that. And now we're going to have a look at what it looks like on the internet. And do you see how now the right hand side looks very different? It invites us to follow the blog. It's got our pages. Now this is the calendar of all the different posts. Now at the minute we've only got the 17th of April. So this will tell us what was published on there. But imagine as time goes by you have one of these every couple of days. It really starts to have an impact. So um, so we've got that. There was obviously the Twitter it won't let us add, uh, but you can see if, if you... So all of a sudden we've... Okay, so so far we have created a blog, hasn't cost us a penny, we've created some blog posts to share our expertise, we've put together some pages so it looks not just like a blog but like a professional website, and what we've also done is we've added a sidebar so it looks a bit more pretty. However, so far it still looks like a bit of an unattractive website, notwithstanding the sidebars and the pages. And we're going to show you now, and this is where it gets very interesting, how you use different themes so your website looks like a professional has designed it. First something you need to do is to go to settings and writing. Again, that's this bar around here, settings. This is when you change the title of your blog. So we're going to call it Ralph Moody. And we're going to call it Welcome 
to the home of Ralph Moody. I'm actually going to call it Ralph Moody hyphen the trainer's trainer. Here you can change other bits and pieces um, that you want to, uh, such as the language, but we'll uh, we'll stay with this for now. And then this is, as I say, where it gets really interesting. You go into appearance on this bar here, click on themes. Now the theme is how your website looks. As I said, so far it's not looking great, but I'm going to show you how you can very quickly make your website look very attractive, as if a professional designed it, by choosing the themes. I mentioned them at the very beginning there, the skin to how your website looks. You go into appearance and themes. I click popular because you want the most popular ones. And all you do to make your website look like this is you literally just click activate. So this 2010, this is a very popular one. You click activate here. This is how easy this is. You press return and then this is Ralph's website. So it says Ralph Moody, the trainer's trainer. You can change this image here, by the way. You might buy one off a professional or you might get a graphic designer to put you one together. So it says welcome to the home of Ralph Moody, the trainer's trainer. And then we've got all of Ralph's information. Notice how the sidebars look very different. This looks more like a professionally designed website. Yes, Ralph probably doesn't want flowers there. Doesn't really treat, um, suit training. But you can see what it's about. You click about Ralph. Do you see how this looks like a website that a professional could have built? Especially as I've not really taken very much time to make this look attractive in the design of the pages. I've just typed in a bit of stuff in Word, really. But you can still see how he's got a website here that looks very professional. As if somebody, you know, you paid them money to produce this. And the contact does form. So this is this website here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you change this again. You go onto this here, the dashboard. You click on Appearance and Themes. This page will take a few seconds to load. WordPress is slightly slow to load because these are quite complicated um, pages with a lot of graphics on. I click on popular because we'd like a popular theme. And all we do is once the page is loaded, is we literally scroll down and find the one that we want. So we scroll down here and as you can see, there are literally hundreds of them here. Now if you find one you really like, you can buy some of them which are more expensive. Um, and uh, obviously you can use that, but there are just so many different ones that you can choose. And then look at this one here. I'm just going to click activate on this, which is probably not for a professional trainer, but I just want to show you how quickly you can produce a website that looks like this one here to like this one here. Again, you choose a different image, of course you would. This is probably more for a, a music band or something like this, but you can just see it's a totally different website. And when we click on About Ralph, we, we see a totally different page. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to personally scroll through all the themes. And I'm going to show you 5 or 10 different themes that you could use. Obviously you'll spend a great amount of time finding the best theme for your website. I'm just going to show you a couple of ones for Ralph. Not necessarily for his website, but just different ones. Then I'll settle on one that I think is okay for now. I'm just trying to illustrate the point of how different these themes are and how much of a difference you can make to your website. So I'll just show you different themes and you can see how different they all are. So this is a theme. This is probably more for a for a younger person's website maybe. But as you can see, Ralph Mooney, the trainers, um, sometimes this happens with WordPress. Um, it, it, it kind of deletes um, certain words because that's just too big. I actually quite like this website if it wasn't for that. So we just go in and we'd edit it. Um, so we just have the home of Ralph Moody or something. Um, but you can see here, this is quite a different type of website. We're all different. I don't dislike this one, to, in all fairness. Um, if we see what a blog post looks like, quite nice. Let's have a look at some more. This is a totally different website. Again, I'm not necessarily saying this is great for somebody like Ralph, but you can see here a very different design. Now this is a very different type of website. You can see here this looks very smart. It says Ralph Moody, the trainer's trainer, the home of Ralph Moody. Um, on the left hand side we've got these different um, different uh, sidebars. So we've got some posts here. Now obviously as this website grows this will be a lot more populated. But the Dealing with Whispers is very distinctive isn't it? It looks like a very nice website. There's more information down the bottom here. That's again just in the design. 
if we click about Ralph we can see how we got the information about Ralph here courses this looks nice videos they look very smart on this page now this is another design this is more professional maybe a little um, more measured as you might say you've got Ralph Mood of a trainer's trainer and then we've got the information and this is um, this is a different this is as I say more understated uh, maybe suits a, pr a trainer a little bit more uh, but you can see all of these websites look very different and that's the only point I'm trying to illustrate how you can in literally seconds find a better website now this is certainly very different isn't it obviously this is more for a, a different type of business um, but it still looks like quite a nice website uh, if we look at the different pages on this website you can see it's it's probably not a trainer's website but again in seconds we've got a different type of website now this website is maybe more for a product type business you can see this as if you were a sports shop or something uh, but just look how different this is you've got Ralph Moody the trainer's trainer very dominant there you've got your nice sidebar here look how distinctive these posts are um, if we click about Ralph look, look how different it is a very funky looking website you definitely believe that a, a, a professional designer had designed this for you I don't know if this is quite Ralph's image as a, as a slick professional trainer uh, but you can see how if this was a, a fitness trainer uh, then this website would probably be perfect for you again this is a lot more of a, a professional website it's very plain this one uh, but this is where we have just a simple title here are the different blogs and if we click about Ralph we can see it's a slightly different type of website more understated um, sometimes you'll often see these images and as I've said you can change these images to your own images um, so that might be the company logo or something like this but you know this is a nice website it's um, maybe not as interesting as it could be but if you're a will writer or a solicitor or an architect or something like this and this might be the type of website for you as you can see you can select any website you like you can spend a couple of hours choosing the different themes and find the one that works best for your website I'm just showing you now all the different examples but you can see if you're a tradesperson or if you're a product business a retail business or a professional service there is something out there that will that will suit your business now this website's very plain it doesn't actually have a navigation bar so you've not got the other pages so if you've not got very much to add you can have a website that looks very nice like this that's just your blog posts uh, which as you can see they do look quite attractive um, and the sidebars actually come underneath on this one so if you just wanted to keep it very simple this might be a type of design for you now I quite like this website um, we've got Ralph Moody the trainer's trainer we've got some nice sidebars here which will only grow uh, we've got a nice navigation bar here this welcome to the home of Ralph Moody um, that, that looks a bit odd but you can change that and that sometimes happens when you change these themes um, sometimes the, the headlines need to be changed somewhat uh, but if you scroll down I think this is a very professional looking website and I quite like this one um, if we look at the About Ralph page it looks nice and professional looks like a professional's website so this is one of my favorites now this is a very different type of website this is more for somebody who's very technical um, it's a different it's more of an experts experts website if you sell stuff to enthusiasts or very expert people then a website such as this will probably work better it's it's quite complicated it's got a different layout I believe this one falls into the simple but nice category um, it actually looks more like somebody who's a writer or somebody like this we've got Ralph Moody there we've got the nice Ralph Moody the trainer's trainer the nice links to his um, different pages remember different blogs the three most recent blogs appear here um, and I, you know these are nice um, nice websites as you can see under here we can we can link straight to the Ralph page so it's it's a different type of design and you know I do think a website like this is quite professional um, so uh, so that's this style this is a different type of website altogether this is maybe one more for younger people um, where we have uh, the links here and links down the side a nice looking website see the Ralph page looks different I quite like this website I believe this is a real experts website a lot of experts have very simple looking websites and this does look very simple um, and it's it's a nice looking website and we, we, we link to the different pages here the about Ralph page nice simplistic 
This one I very much like. I think it's understated and it's simple. And it looks very strong. Professional looking pages. So many to choose from. This is a different type of one again on the theme of being nice and simple. We just got Ralph the Trainer's Trainer. Have a look about Ralph page looks. Have a look at the video page. They all look so different from each other. It's it's so easy to do. Literally at a click of a button. These websites are looking altogether different. And this one is a much simpler website. The navigation is here. It's it's a lot more toned down. Maybe suits certain audiences better. Um, everything just seems to be a little bit more measured and not quite so exciting. So which one are we going to go with? Now I'm going to pick the one that, that I believe best suits uh, Ralph's business. However, I've not spent all that much time really trying to find the best theme. Um, so what I pick isn't really the final one. All I want you to know is there are so many different themes and in just a very short space of time that we've had today, we've created a website that looks very professional, that's so much more than a blog. It's somewhere like a blog that you can share your expertise and position yourself as an expert. But as you can see, in a click of a button, you can have a website that looks so different. Lots of different designs that would suit lots of different businesses. So let's have a look at the one that I believe works best for Ralph. Well, I've picked a short list of four. This was the first one. I like this one. It's the blue, which is Ralph's company colour. Um, you can slightly change the colours if you need to, to make them the exact Pantone. Um, but I very much like this. Um, it's simple. I think it looks professional. It looks nice. I think it befits somebody who's a professional trainer. And how good does it look to have somebody's website, Ralph Moody, the trainer's trainer. Welcome to the home of Ralph Moody. And you've got the buttons here. And I, I like this website. I think it's well designed. This one's very similar. It's, again, understated, maybe more professional than it needs to be, but it takes itself quite seriously, but I do quite like this website. This one, again, we'd have to do something about the headline. It'd have to be just be the home of Ralph Moody um, or something like this. But I, I do like this one. It's, it's attractive and it's interesting. But I think my favourite is probably this one. Um, it looks more modern. It's more interesting. Um, and I like this website. As you can scroll down, you can see it's very distinctive. Look how good the blog posts look, they really jump out at you uh, and look very professional. And when we start to look at the pages like About Ralph, I believe they look nice. Uh, we look at the videos, the videos look professional, it fits the website very well. And the testimonials as well. I enjoy the testimonials, I believe they're, they, look, uh, they look good. But of course, you could have choose from any that you wanted to. There's so many out there for you to choose from. I've just picked this one. Some of you will believe this looks really nice. Some of you believe it's rubbish. But as you can see, spend half an hour or an hour or whatever finding a different theme and you will find a website that looks professionally designed. And like this one, we have a website that will do everything we want it to do. It will allow us to share our expertise on the internet. We've got different pages, and you could have all different pages here. You could have 10 different pages. Um, as our um, blog grows, the amount of categories we have here, and like the recent posts, will grow as well, and it just looks more professional. So I prefer this one, but you may prefer one of the others. Now, the good news is that this is only the beginning. I've just showed you the absolute basics here for how you can get a blog up there. You can have your own expert website. You can look like a credible expert. You can share your expertise with the world. I've not really touched on much around optimization. Um, I did mention that you can buy themes for around $80 that look even better than the ones I've shown you. If you look at some of the ones you can buy when you create your own blog, for just $80 they will look absolutely brilliant, much better than this one. I like this one, but you can get them that are so much better for just a small price. And there's also different functions you can get, such as plugins and different activities, different ways that you can get your blog to do more advanced data capture or to tweet more about your blog via Twitter automatically or other social media themes or how you can use search engine optimization via plugins. I'll cover all of those in the future because this expert marketing is going to be something I'll talk a lot more about in the Business Growth Club. But hopefully today you understand a lot more about blogs and how you can use blogs. So now hopefully you can see why every professional should have a website like this. They should position themselves as the number one expert in their industry and they should be here on the internet sharing their expertise and demonstrating how professional they are, irrespective of what their industry happens to be. So that's it for today's recording. Hopefully you'll now go away to WordPress.com and follow this video and create your own expert website. In the future, 
when you get very good at the expert marketing, which we'll touch upon time and time again in the future, you might find a designer who will give you a brilliant expert website will do everything you want. But for now, they should get you started on the expert marketing journey, which, as I say, I can guarantee will give you the results you want it to if you follow the strategies we're going to feed you. Any questions, as always, please use the question and answer service. If you're struggling with setting up the WordPress um, blogs, then don't worry. Um, so if you've got any problems, you can send me screenshots of problems or you can talk to me about the problems and we'll solve those because I know sometimes you're watching it on screen and sometimes what's in front of you, you can't always see. But thank you very much for listening. I hope this has been useful. You'll receive another video from us um, via email um, every Saturday as you always do. So thank you for listening and goodbye for now.